Kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Claremont, Florida. At least I think I'm live. I'm on my laptop. I'm trying out the new thing, although it's spinning, so I'm not sure if it's live. Oh, hang on, here we go. Hi, kia ora. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day. It has been a great day here in Florida. Um, if I'm repeating this, it's because I wasn't sure if this thing was live. I'm trying the laptop new layout again. So we shall see how it goes. Um, oh, I got my little lower back. Whoops. I touched her butt. Come back here. Come on. For some reason lately, Zephy doesn't like her butt being scratched, although she will put it up in there for me to scratch and then she likes it then, but when she's asleep, she doesn't like it. Um, I hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling day. Um, we have had um, an event, uh, quite an adventure today. So we started off with um, our Facebook Live this morning and that was all about saying thank you to all of you who have um, inspired me to do the daily challenges that we do each morning um, because of the feedback, because of the stuff that I was seeing coming through on my Facebook feed. I wanted to change the negative into a positive and um, I got inspired to do those challenges, you know, to take myself through the challenges. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do this by myself. I'm going to challenge you guys to go through the challenges with me each day. So that was my thank you this morning for that. So I hope you've had a super fantastic sparkling day of gratitude. Um, I have had a Zoom a Zoom a Palooza Zoom Palooza day. So it seems like I have been on Zoom like for a majority of the day. Um, started with the. Um, started at 11 o'clock this morning and I just got off my last one about 20 minutes ago I think it was 15 20 minutes ago um, it has just been one amazing zoom after another I got to meet new people and interact with them I got to make some connections um, between the people I met and people I know um, we had a great walk this morning if you haven't seen Zephy's live on what she does with a water bowl then you got to go to um, excuse me, Zephy's Great Adventures to her group page and have a look. It is hilarious how she gets the bowl of water, takes a few um, a few laps out of that bowl of water and then picks it up and moves it. But of course, when she picks it up, she's picking it up by the outer rim, so tipping out the contents. And when she gets to the new place, she puts it down and then goes to lick it and there's no water in there. Um, it was kind of funny. It's just a short little like 20, 30 second video or something like that um, about how she does that. So we find it kind of funny and so... Um, Vicky, who's the woman that we meet with each morning, her and I decided, you know, we've got to get this on video one day, and we finally remembered to do it today. Um, and it's something she's, that Zephy's been doing the last two or three days. But um, with the Zooms, got back here, started, like I said, started at 11 o'clock, had a, um, a daily call um, um, with a group of people that I work with, then got onto the Zoom for a, um, a small group mastermind, and got to meet, it's a group, a new group that I'm leading, um, and got to meet three of the new, of the members in the group and got to know them, got to make some connections for some of them. Um, and then what was my next one after that? Then I had another one after that. I've had, oh yeah, I had an accountability call for, hang on, where is it? It's right here. Accountability call for Super Attractor. So um, this has been, what are you? Sorry, somebody is rattling something. Oh, <laughs> somebody found my spare bottle of vitamins. She decided to take them off the seat just now. She thinks they're a toy. Not a toy. Um, so yeah, so I had my accountability call for um, Super Attractor. Great, great book. I mean, this is this is an incredible book. And for right now, when we're going through this global pause, and if you don't know about the global pause, check my Facebook Live from yesterday morning when I talked about the pause. Um, and what it is. I have a blog that I actually wrote yesterday too, which I was, um, as I was doing the groceries yesterday, I kept getting this little messages like, you got to write the blog. You have to write the blog about the pause. You got to write the blog about the pause. And, um, and it got stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's finally like, okay. So I actually came and sat at the laptop and typed up the pause, typed up the blog about the pause. And normally when I write, it's pen and paper. Uh, but I had, I just came, sat down, and just started typing. Um, and then my writers group last night got to um, critique it, um, point out some areas that just need a little bit of tweaking. And um, so I just have to go tweak those areas, and then it'll be available for posting. So when I get it posted, I will then um, post the link on my Facebook feed so you guys can read about the pause. Um, let me just mute that. Um, so 
got some of that done today, got some other writing done today. Um, like I said, this accountability, got an, um, to talk to my accountability partner. Hey, Zephy, you coming to say hello? You want to say hi? No, you're just going to sit there. Yeah, she's just going to sit there. Okay. Um, got to have my weekly accountability call for business, which went really, really well. We had some great conversations and filled my um, accountability person in on everything I'd been doing this past week and set some goals. Some have to be done by tomorrow. Some have to be done by um, next week. So that's good. I got some more goals. Got some stuff taken off my project boards. Got some new stuff put up there. Um, then had another Zoom. Let's see. Had another Zoom regarding this, uh, one of the business ideas that I have. Um, so I'm getting some feedback and input from somebody about that, which was greatly appreciated. Then got on another Zoom call <laughs> um, and talked about connecting with, uh, it was all about connecting with people and just um, reaching out to people you haven't spoken to for a while. And uh, it was just a very good um, eye-opening experience, you know, sending out messages. So I've been sending out um, different messages to people um, over the last hour and saying, hi, how are you? Just checking up on you, um, asking questions about their family and that sort of thing as well. Um, and uh, getting to talk, have some conversations with people again, which is kind of cool. Because um, in this time, you kind of forget that sometimes you can forget that there are people who that you used to connect with on a regular basis that you haven't connected with for a while. And so making and so it's sort of like oh I haven't heard from so-and-so for a while what the hell are they doing jam a little message boom and then going through you going down your friends list and going oh I haven't heard from that person for a while what's happening you know and sending them a little message so it's been kind of it was kind of fun to to do that I got 32 messages out tonight and I've been having all these conversations and then I looked at the time and went oh, I gotta get on here and do my life so here I am hi how are you <laughs> um so it's been a really really good day um a very productive day what the heck nose on the foot cold nose on the foot um it's been a very hot day so i've been thankful that i have been inside for most of it um we were up like around 94 95 with like a 54 percent humidity and they had zero percent chance of rain it's raining right now <laughs> so when I took Zephy out, Zephy insisted on going out like around five o'clock and I'm sort of like, okay, um, it's raining outside right now. Do you really want to go out right now? And so she was sort of like, yeah. So we got all ready to go and went outside and she's really funny in the rain. She doesn't like being out in the rain. So she walks like about 10 feet, stop, bat, you know, big body shake, shakes off all the water, then walks another 10 feet, shakes off all the water again. And we do this the entire way around she stops doing it when she um, stops to do a business but as soon as she's finished she shakes everything off again <laughs> and it's absolutely hilarious watching her in the rain and then when we get back here I have a towel down on the floor um, to catch or all the, the wet dirt and stuff on her paws and to quickly dry her off and she does not like being dried off with a towel um, doesn't like that at all so I actually have to pick her up wrapped in the towel and towel her off while she's squirming and trying to get out of the so it's a it's a good wrestling match between the two of us but um, she's also in the last few days, um, she realizes that there are times that I work and um, there's been times that she will come up and sit here next to me while I'm working and I'll talk to her while I'm working. Um, but now it seems that she comes in from our morning walk, she'll have a drink, she'll have her breakfast, she may run, she runs crazy for a little bit and then she goes and she sleeps. She gets up on the dashboard, goes to sleep there, goes to sleep on the couch or in, and quite often it's been in her crate and she will sleep for most of the day. If I get up, she gets up. And if I go to the bathroom, she's got to come in there with me. If I'm cook, if I'm getting um, something ready for to eat for lunch or anything like that, she's right there next to me looking. She doesn't know what tidbits are, but she's curious to find out what it is I'm doing. And can I have some of that too? And there's times, <laughs> this is the funniest thing. I will be sitting here, and especially if I'm eating breakfast, I eat, if I'm using a spoon, which I usually do for my fruit salad in the morning, I'm, I eat left-handed. So she sits right here. And my spoon comes up to my mouth here. So the spoon's here. Her nose is here. Sniffing. <laughs> it's like right here. It's, I'm like, it's, like, it's absolutely hilarious watching her um, trying to figure out, oh, what are you eating? And how close she can get without actually tasting it or anything. It's, it's so funny. Um, but now she's, um, oh, and then I have discovered with her, she likes banana, 
but it has to be a certain ripeness and from a certain end of the banana. So if you have the banana with the stalk at the top and it's got a little bit of green at the top and it's perfectly yellow all the way down with before it starts turning too much, she will eat the end at the bottom first, then she will eat the top end, but if you give her the top end first, she completely ignores it and will just eat the bottom end. And as soon as the first black piece, doesn't matter how big, the, it could be a black spot, starts appearing on the skin, she refuses to eat them. Absolutely. I'm so like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, it has to be from the bottom end first, then the top end, and it has to be a certain ripeness before she eats it. So it's finding all these little things. But I found that she's now sleeping most of the day. Um, she gets up when I get up and will eat. If I'm eating lunch, she'll eat too after she's inspect, tried to get as close as she can to check the food. Um, and then she'll go back to sleep. But come five o'clock, boom, she's all on. And it's sort of like, I want to play. And she brings me toys to throw for her, to toss for her, to tug with, play tug with her. Um, she wants me to chase her. She wants scratches. She wants cuddles. But there's times during the day I'll get up and give her cuddles as well. And um, but she doesn't. Want, she doesn't want to play. She wants to train at that time as well. Um, she wants to go outside. So from five o'clock through to um, actually, she's been quite calm right now because I've got my foot on top of the bottle with my supplements in it, and she can't get to it. Um, but um, it's sort of like between this time and like. Well, we're at 8 o'clock now, so give her about another 15, 20 minutes, and she'll be quiet for that. She'll go and hop into her crate for the rest of the night until it's time to go to bed. And once I go to bed, go in there and start making moves to going to bed, she'll go and hop up on the bed in her little corner there and um, settle down. Sometimes she'll move down the bed and, like, lay on the body pillow that's between us um, and just rest there with her head on it. As I to say, okay, 